Alrighty, so today is going to be kind of the start of a series of a bunch of different testing videos. So what we're going to test today is whether or not the overall length of the bullet matters. Now, the reason why I pulled out the 140 grain Nosler RDF is number one, we're going to test these in my 6.5 Creedmoor today. And number two, these RDFs have a pretty good difference between some of the overall lengths if you measure them based to the tip. So what we're going to do today is we're going to shoot a five shot group with bullets that all measured between 1.417 inches and 1.418. So about one thousandth of different via, difference via my caliper. We're gonna load those up at 43 grains and we're gonna shoot them at a cartridge based O drive measurement or a length of 2.210 with stay ball 6.5. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna load up five more rounds now, we intentionally picked bullets that were different overall lengths. So you'll see the different overall lengths up on the screen here, but essentially we have overall lengths from 1.413 all the way up to 1.422. So pretty big difference in our spread there. We're going to go ahead and we're going to load them up at the same load of 43.0 grains of Stayball 6.5 at that same cartridge-based O-Drive number of 2.210. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to compare five shot groups at 100 yards. Now, don't think this is going to be our best test because I think this is really going to matter at longer ranges. But we're going to go ahead and try to find out if it matters at 100 yards. So let's get out on the range and let's go ahead and uh, let's see which one shoots better or if it matters. All right, we're out here on the range. This is my Savage 110 Tactical Chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, the first loads you're going to see us shoot, the first five, are going to be all of them that measured within one thousandth of an inch overall length. And then uh, the second are going to be the ones that you saw the uh, overall lengths on the screen there. So the very different overall lengths. Now obviously those were measured before we put the bullets in the case. So I did not measure them to see how much variance we had after we put them in the case. Um, we measured cartridge based to ogive to set up our sizing or our seating die and things like that. My gun is cold um, and the gun does have a different muzzle brake on it from the last time we shot this load. So hopefully our point of impact is pretty close to where we need to be. We are shooting at half inch um, circles on the target there and we're getting velocity through our lab radar. It is a little bit rainy right now but there's really no wind. So pretty decent to uh, shoot right now. All right, we're gonna go ahead and magazine feed these and get our lab radar set up there. So again, the first ones are the ones that were the uniform bullet overall length. And these should be about 2670, 2660 feet per second. All right, so serious problem here. We're not on our paper. What the heck? All right, so I just went down range and I uh, watched the footage back and we're hitting low. So actually we're hitting about a whole mil low. So I'm gonna go ahead and dial up the scope a mil and uh, we're gonna shoot a four shot group here and then the other one will be a five shot. If the results are really close or inconclusive, I don't know, maybe I'll go load another one. The problem with that is now it's going to throw some more variables into it because I have to go uh, turn my scale back on, let it warm up and all that stuff. So eh, this kind of sucks. But anyway, so scope should be moved. We should be able to hit the paper now and we'll see what happens. <coughs> yeah, so... For whatever reason, uh, changing the muzzle device moved our point of impact to mill low. Let's see if they'll group. And last one here of the uniform overall length. All right. 
so not not awesome right there not that this was an amazing load anyway you guys will see the velocities on the screen there for the five shots with the uniform overall links up on the screen there and then now we're going to shoot the ones with the non-uniform overall links so it'd be interesting to see now this is going to be a five shot group because our scope is now on if this group's better than than what we had there because that's pretty bad down there i mean for a four shot group So I'd say that that's pretty non-conclusive. Now again, we do have a five shot on the right and a four on the left, but the groups really look pretty similar. Obviously you guys will see the velocity on the screen there. Um, let's go ahead, let's get over there, let's take a closer look. Alrighty, so what we're looking at here is on the left is all of those that were no more than a thousandth apart with that overall length. And then on your right, you see those five shots where we had all those different bullet overall lengths. Now, obviously I'm frustrated with this test because it's kind of hard to compare a four shot group on the left and a five shot group on the right. Because that first shot hit off of our paper, it's tough to judge here. Now, if I just look at the overall groups, obviously the four shot group's a bit better at 0.8, where the one with five shots is 1.04, but we did have that one that kind of flew up into the left that kind of messed our group up. So it's, it's hard to say that there's really any difference between these groups. They're both stringing vertically. Uh, Velocity is almost identical. SDs are a little bit different, but right now I can't really see any difference in whether or not this matters right now at 100 yards in this test. Um, this has got me intrigued. I think I need to plan another test with uh, maybe something like eight or 10 shot groups and try the test again and just see if we do see a difference because right now I can't really see anything. Now you hear a lot of people talk about sorting their bullets by um, overall length. So it must matter, but in this case, I don't see anything to it. So comment down below, what do you guys think? Do you guys sort um, by overall length or weight or base to ogive or something like that? It's been a fun test, but pretty frustrating as well because we did drop that one off the paper. So hope you guys enjoyed this test. Um, like I said, we're gonna do some of these testing videos going forward to kind of, kind of figure out what matters and what doesn't, at least in my gun in my situation at 100 yards. So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you next time.